Hello there. This is Dana Arcuri, author, speaker, survivor, certified trauma recovery coach, and certified master energy practitioner from DanaArcuri.com. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you are returning, welcome back. It's awesome to have you here. Today's topic is about fanatical family mobbing and 17 red flags of family mobbing. A lot of people have not heard of this term. And so once again, I'm showing up to share some content that's really credible information and facts about narcissistic abuse sibling abuse, and abuse by sociopaths and psychopaths. Family mobbing goes hand in hand with gaslighting, manipulation, sibling abuse, narcissistic abuse, and various types of crimes. According to Stephanie H. Sellers, who has a PhD, and she's the author of the book, Daughters Healing from Family Mobbing, Stories and Approaches to Recovery from Shunning, Aggression, and Family Violence. And she says, Family mobbing is a group act of aggression that targets a family member. It can be typified by a single act of violence or a pattern of abuse over years. Whether isolated or long-term, family mobbing enforces the family's domination and control over another. Typically, parents, including adoptive, foster, and stepchildren, initiate family mobbing. She goes onward to say, family mobbing is a process of power and control. When victims are mobbed, they are not just shunned, attacked, or slandered, they are also subjugated by a system of family rules that reinforces patriarchal aggression and oppression. What makes mobbing so insidious and so underreported is that here, family itself is the site of violence, trauma, and shame. Whew, that's a powerful quote, people. This is included in my book. Keep your comments going. Did you experience family mobbing? Let's talk about the signs and red flags of family mobbing. So it could happen to anyone. You may be a male, you may be a female, you may be young and you may be old. It doesn't exempt anyone from family mobbing. So usually gang stalking goes hand in hand with family mobbing and there's all these other red flags that are part of the family mobbing. So here we go. Number one, bullying. Number two, public humiliation. Number three, intimidation. Number four, isolation. Discrediting the victim, slander. Gossip. Number eight, rejection, manipulation. Number 10, gaslighting. Number 11, smear campaigns. Oh dear God, I know you, you know what I'm talking about, people. Number 12, retaliation. Number 13, vengeful behaviors. 14 is physical abuse. 15 is domestic violence. 16, toxic shame. And we're going to end with 17, victim blaming. And don't forget the victim shaming. Everybody likes to just dump the toxic shame of the toxic family onto the scapegoat or the black sheep of the family. If you feel like you are unsafe with family mobbing, gang stucking, and malicious ongoing abuse. Start by documenting everything that takes place. Write down the dates, the times, the descriptions, the details, the names of the suspects, and start your paper trail because you may need evidence if you eventually decide to seek legal counsel or get a restraining order. Lastly, if you need emotional support, I specialize in this. This is my personal experience. You are not alone, my friends. If you need certified trauma recovery coaching, even narcissistic abuse recovery coaching, sibling abuse recovery coaching, anything regarding trauma, reach out to me at DanaOrCurie.com. Let's end with this. Have you experienced any of these red flags of family mobbing and ongoing abuse? If so, keep the comments going down below.